Let's say we have n plus 7 times n plus 5. Now before I teach you anything to do with FOIL, how do we do this the way that we learned in the last section? I taught you to view this binomial as two terms, each that have to, has to get distributed across to the other two terms. Um, because that flows very nicely with just what the distributive property is. So, for instance, n times n going here is n squared. And then n times 5 is 5n. And then going to the second term, 7 times n is 7n. And then 7 times 5 is 35, so we have 35. So what we have, when we collect like terms, this is 5 plus 7, is just going to give us 12. So we have n squared plus 12n plus 35. So this is doing it the way that we did it in the last section. I'll go ahead and circle the answer here because it is the answer. Um, now, we're going to learn how to do it using a slightly different way. Let's rewrite the problem. I'll change colors. Uh, let's say we have n plus 7 times n plus 5. All right, so now what I'm going to do is teach you this thing called the FOIL method. So first, let's write it down. And it's spelled F-O-I-L. And that stands for first, outside, inside, and last. Again, this the way to do this, it's, it's not any better or worse than what we've done before. It's just a, a, an easier way to remember it for some people. So the way you look at this is you have a binomial and a binomial. Okay. Now, what it's telling you to do is you want to multiply the first terms together, then you want to multiply the outside terms together, then you want to multiply the inside terms together, then you want to multiply the last terms together. So the first terms are these two. See, this is the first term of this binomial, and this is the first term of this binomial. All right. So if you wanted to draw that, these two terms would be the f terms. Those are the first two terms, and you multiply them together. So n times n is n squared. All right. So when, when you look at FOIL, it's telling you to first multiply the first terms together, the first term of each binomial, and that's what you get. Then it's telling you to multiply the outside terms. See, these are the inside terms, meaning inside they're close to each other. If you look at the whole thing, these two are the inside terms, and these two are the outside terms. So you would say that these are called the outside terms, and you need to multiply those together. So what you have is n times 5 gives you 5n, 5n. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, move on to the inside terms, which we just talked about. So let's go ahead and mark that down. So here, these are called the inside terms. I'll mark that with an i, and you multiply those together, and you have 7 times n, which is 7n. And then you have what we call the last term. So we'll go ahead and draw those together last. Because this is the last term of this binomial, this is the last term here. So 7 times 5 is 35, so you write it down as 35. And I think you can kind of see what's happening here. When you add these, you get 12, just like we did before, and so you get n squared plus 12, n plus 35. Okay, and this is the same exact answer. So whether or not you do it the way I taught you in the last section, which is what we did up here as a review, or whether or not you use FOIL, if it's easier for you to remember, F-O-I-L, that's okay. You're going to get exactly the same answer as long as you follow one of these rules. And so your teacher is probably going to teach you this at some point. You're probably going to have to show that you know what FOIL is. But honestly, I don't care which way you use as long as you get the final answer to me. Notice what's happening, though. You're getting exactly the same terms. You have n squared here, you have 5n here, you have 7n here, and you have 35 right there. So you see you're doing exactly the same thing in both cases. You're getting exactly the same terms. In fact, I actually taught you, basically taught you FOIL without even telling you that's what it is. So here's the first terms. When you distribute this over there, those are the outside terms. Then you go to the 7 and distribute him. Those are the inside terms. And then you multiply these. Those are the last terms. I kind of taught you that it was FOIL without really telling you that it was FOIL initially. The only reason that I that I didn't really tell you before is because when people see these, these words, to help them remember, they think it's some kind of shortcut or some kind of trick, and then they, some, you know, people don't understand the true reason why we're doing it. The reason why we're doing it is because we have two things sitting out here, and we're distributing them in, just like we've been using the distribution rule all of this time. So I wanted you to understand that first and foremost. Once you get that, then I can show you, hey, they also call it FOIL, right? All right, so let's just do a couple more problems, get some more practice, and then you'll understand that you're getting the same answer uh, in all cases. 
All right, so the next problem is r minus 3, r plus 6. And we're going to use FOIL this time to, just to help you remember it. So the first terms, r times r is r squared. The outside terms, r times 6 is 6r. The inside terms, negative 3 times r is negative 3r. And the last terms, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Now that we have that done, we combine like terms, which are just these. 6 minus 3 it gives you 3. So r squared plus 3r minus 18. Okay, r squared plus 3r minus 18. Again, you're getting exactly the same thing that we were getting before. Doing it exactly the same way, it's just called something a little bit different. And it helps some people remember. 3a minus 2a minus 3. Okay, so we're going to do F-O-I-L, right? So the first terms are these two, F, those are going to be the first two terms, 3A times A gives you 3A squared. Then we have the outside terms, 3A times negative 3, don't forget there's negative, 3A times negative 3 gives you negative 9A. Then we have the inside terms, these two, these are the inside terms, negative 2A. Then we have the last terms. Negative 2 times negative 3 gives you positive 6. And we combine like terms, which are just going to be these two. Negative 9 minus 2 is going to give us negative 11a like this. So we have 3a squared minus 11a plus 6. That's the final answer. Now we just have one more of these to get some more practice. And it is 5k plus 2, 2k minus 3. All right, 2k minus 3. And so the first terms, f, these are these terms here. 5k times 2k is 10, and k times k is k squared. Then we have the outside terms. These are the outside terms. 5k times negative 3 gives you negative 15k. Then the inside terms, those are the 2 times the 2k gives you 4k. And then the last terms, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then we combine like terms, which is this one, negative 15 uh, plus 4. So we add those together, and we're going to get 10k squared minus 11k uh, minus 6. And that's the final answer. So in this lesson, we learned how to multiply binomials together using this easy-to-remember word called FOIL. Almost every algebra book is going to cover it. It's totally fine if you just want to memorize FOIL and just say, okay, first terms, and outside terms, and inside terms, and last terms. That's totally fine. I actually still do that today whenever I multiply binomials quite often. But I also wanted to introduce and show you where it comes from. FOIL comes from the fact that you're, dis that you're distributing the n into both terms in there, and then you're separately distributing the 7 into both terms uh, uh, in there. And then that's how you get FOIL, essentially. So make sure you understand it. Again, if you want to remember it one way or the other, it doesn't matter to me as long as you're getting the correct answer. Make sure you can solve these problems. Follow me on to the next lesson. We're going to continue learning how to multiply these polynomials in algebra. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.